Yeah, she is a powerhouse too. Look at that form, big wow. height. Wow, my goodness. Did you see See that double layout, oh, two flips in the air in a stretched position and over rotates it. Man, talk <laughs> about power. That was a beautiful double layout. No pike, flat out, straight body, great height. I didn't see any problems with that. I mean, no, that was perfect. That's going to be hard for Team Fire to beat. Let's see what Jessica has. Nice, even another beautiful double layout. Slight pike on the landing, but just as high, just as clean. Oh, they do. They do give it to Team Ice. Again, Team Ice continues to keep the... To um, well, looks like Sean Towson. He's not too happy about that one at all. So now the score is two for fire, two for ice. Ice tied it up. They have the offensive, and here comes Jonathan Horton. Now notice, some of these athletes are actually wearing jewelry. This is not the typical format. No, normally in traditional uh, gymnastics, you wouldn't be allowed to wear any kind of jewelry. But you know what? This is not your grandma's gymnastics. Boom. He had no problem with that, No problem at all. Just like he was taking a stroll in the park. <laughs> Let's see what Wes has. Let's see what Wes has. Now Wes runs, double front pike. Sticks the landing. He's excited about it. Look at him. Both of them were beautiful. I don't know, Wes, uh, I, I got to go a little bit with Wes. And the team fire too. still looks like it, uh, they won it also. I, I mean, this is tight. This is tight. Oh, and I guess they do give it to team fire. Wow. So fire has control again. All right, next up is Aaron Davis. You know, Bill, I just have to mention that it's so nice to see these athletes out of their traditional uniforms. They're so flashy and fun. And they're very flattering. My goodness. Uh, Tara, she just looked like she just fell out the ceiling with that double touch. She did. She had so much height. Let's face it, the guys should not be wearing Take leotards. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I was never fond of uh, the leotards we had to wear in competition. Yeah. A little too tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kylie thinks up a beautiful double tuck also. Gorgeous. But the point is awarded to Team Fire. Yeah, the guy's uniform's going, you know, uh, bare-chested. It's definitely different than having to wear a leotard. And I have to admit, I'm okay with that. Yeah, nobody really wants to see a guy in a leotard. Yeah, it's a good point. Seems like Sean Townsend is up now. He's called a, a side summing in a straddle position. This could be another strategic move again. Uh, it's a unique move that not a lot of gymnasts do. Whoa, all the way to the side. Really pretty. You know what, Tara, this is, this is a technical move. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily the, the hardest move out there, but it is so hard and difficult to do well. Yeah. I don't know if anybody on uh, Team Ice knows how to do one. Joey's going to give it a try, see what he can do. He doesn't look too confident. <laughs> uh, but I like the fact that he's going to give it a shot. He is, and that's what this competition is all about. All right. All okay. right. Not bad. Hey, listen, he gave it a shot. I, I, you know, he could have. He didn't have the flair as as Sean did, but um, and Team it looks like the referees agree. Fire. Team Fire wins again and continues with the control. You know, are. these guys Two really look like they're having a good time. But at the same time, I feel like they're really into the competition side of this. They want to win. Hold up. Did Danelle just say he wants to do a double twisting double? Layout. Whoa. All right, we're stepping it up now. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. Let's see this power that he has. He's not a national champion for nothing. Here he goes, double twisting, double lay. Beautiful. Wow. He's form. excited also. Look at him. He's jazzed. That's what. That was gigantic. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, happy guy. He's skipping on back. And, and I'm gonna tell you what, Tara. That's exactly why he is a national champ. All right, this is Steve Legendre's best Steve event, the floor. Legendre. He's pumped, he's psyched, he's bouncing. Let's see what he has. Here he goes. Wow! Oh. oh! Man, I can't believe how high that was. In beautiful form in the air. I mean, it couldn't have been nicer. Now we're starting to see some extremely Olympic caliber uh, uh, moves here now. Colombian national champion Jessica Gills coming up to the plate. What are we gonna do, Fire still has offensive control. Let's see what Jessica Gill can do. Piked position. double back. Two flips in the piked position. It's amazing to see her back since uh, in 2009 at World. She was actually carried off on a stretcher oh. because of a floor crash. 
Wow, that was up there also. It's a beautiful double pike by Jessica. And what a comeback. Wow. Incredible. Ice, Taylor Seaman. And here comes Taylor Seaman to try to give her a run for her money. Beautiful. She's like a little bundle of joy, a little bundle of power. Look at her. <laughs> she is. That bundle of power just won it for uh, Team Ice. Very so nice. it looks like Ice now gains control and goes on the offensive. Ice is catching up. Ice has gotten control now. Horton is going to be representing Team Ice. Jonathan, what can we expect from you? And here comes Jonathan Horton. So this is a double side summy with a full twist at the end. Yeah, it looks like Jonathan's going to try something that's uh, unique to say the least, Tara. This is a, a, a move that you, you, you normally wouldn't see gymnasts perform. So um, I wonder if uh, anybody from Team Fire knows how to do it. Let's see how he does. Incredible! Really wow. nice. That's some style right there. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a competition before. Normally you wouldn't. Normally, in a normal traditional gymnastics competition, they might deduct on that. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't look like traditional gymnastics, but it is beautiful gymnastics. Like and the moment. height and the flare. John must have known fire. that nobody else on fire could have done that. It looks like fire, yep, fire has decided that they are going to forfeit. So that means that nobody on the fire team is able to even attempt to do what Jonathan Horton did. That was a real nice strategic play. Ice still stays in control. All right, here goes Kylie Bonnerman doing a piked full in. That was nice. I'm curious which girl from uh, Team Fire is going to step up and try to attempt that. I mean, she just did two flips and a full twist in the air in the pike position before she hit the ground. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Tara, looks like they might be calling a wild card right now, but uh, looks like they were talking about calling somebody up, but I think that they're going to hold off on that, Tara. I think, yep. Did they forfeit? They are. Look, yep, Sean's up. They're going to forfeit it. They, they think that that's the wisest move to do right now. That means the point goes to Ice. What are you going to throw down here, Susan? A front handspring. And now here's Susan Jackson, and she's going to throw a front layout with a two, with a double twist. I can't wait to see this. That's not an easy skill to do. No. She's a twister and she does this so well. Wow, that was beautiful. Gorgeous. And you know what, Tara? This is really a difficult skill because you have to go up high enough to be able to complete the two twists, but you don't want to go up too high so that you over rotate this skill. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is going to be our first girl versus guy skill right now. Looks like Wes has decided he's going to step up and see what he can do. Here he goes. Double twisting front, uh, sticks the landing. I, I think Wes did a good job. I hate to be a judge at this point. Yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I would give it to Susan. Oh, oh, he, he oh the referees to decided to give it to oh, Wes. Wes. It was his job to match and he did it beautifully. What a wise move by Team Fire to put Wes up there. Now comes a strategy. They look like they're being very strategic right now. What are they going to decide to do? I don't know. It looks like uh, Yana's looking to, uh, to go up. I think they're just trying to figure out what she can do and, and what she wants to do. She only has 30 seconds to make this happen, though. So she has to be very quick with her decisions. And they have to keep the ball rolling or else they'll be disqualified. Bill, gymnastics is usually such an individual sport, but in this case, in evolution, it's all about the team figuring out what the best plan of attack is. Yeah, and it seems like Fire has decided that they are going to send up Yana. I'm kind of anxious to see what, she, uh, what she's going to do. Yana Beager, what are we going to do, Yana? She says she's going to do a front full punch double front. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know if I've ever seen this in competition before. This is going to be exciting, just even her going for it. Front full double front. Beautiful, beautiful form, beautiful flair, so high. She just rocked that out. Listen, this is why I like Evolution, is because you give gymnasts that have that ability the opportunity to show a skill like that. Oh, looks like Steven wants to step it up now. Are you a little bit nervous? No. You know, it's amazing. Team Ice is actually going to have to pull out their most powerful tumbler to go against Yana Beager. Here he goes. And kicks out. Oh. oh, oh. I he made that look too easy. He did. I venture to say that might have even been a little better. Let's see what the referees have to say. They do. They give the point to Team Ice. Wow. Team Ice, Ice gains control back Maybe from fire with that, control. with that pass. Like and Jonathan Team Ice ties to it, to it up four. six to six Jonathan. with fire. And what here goes Jonathan Horton. Down here. Double twisting, double backflip. 
Jonathan's decided he's gonna, he's gonna step it up even more. He's gonna do a double-double tucked. Two flips, two twists, and a tuck position. Just watch this guy. The power and the height that he has, it's amazing. Boom, one, two, one, two. Nice. Sticks it. He knows it. He knows he rocked it out. It's amazing, Kara, that he just did two flips and two twists before he landed on the ground. Before he hit the ground, right. What's up with Team Fire? What's going on? Oh, they did. Tara, they decided to uh, uh, call a wild card. Wow. Now, remember, a wild card is when they pull somebody off the bench to come up on the stage. This is somebody that they didn't have scheduled to compete on this event, but they're calling him up. And look who they called. Mr. Justin Mr. Spring, Spring himself. Justin Spring. And Justin, look at him. He's, he's revving the crowd up. He knows. Pumped. He's ready to go. And the crowd is such a huge part of this competition. Nice. Oh, gorgeous. Justin stepped up and knocked it out of the ballpark. That was beautiful. That was a very smart decision by Fire. And yep, it and paid off. And the judges off. rewarded it. Justin comes in as a wild card and brings him a point. Point goes to Fire. Fire gains control. So what that means, Team Fire is now on offense and gets the point. This All year, right, 2011 up. national champ, Danelle Leva. What do we got rocking and rolling? Man. I'm thinking of doing a call out. Seems uh -oh. as if Danelle is doing a call out. We got a call out on the screen. We have a call. Who are you calling out? Kylie. Woo! Now Kylie. This, is, this is very strategic for Team out? Fire. Now, if Kylie out? accepts, this will be the first competition for two points. Right. He's challenging her to a half and half out on floor and tuck in a tuck position. And she accepts. She accepts, folks. Now, if Fire wins this, Fire wins this round. This is for the win. A beautiful half in, half out. Gorgeous. Did it very nice and easy. He's pumped. He knows. He thinks he made the right decision. Look, he's excited. Skipping back. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Let's see what Kylie has. Kylie She's under, Botterman uh, is a force to be reckoned with, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. She knows. She rocked that one. And that's Kylie Botterman being called out by the current reigning national champion, yeah. Danelle Leva. Yeah. That's oh. really impressive. And we've got a tie. Our oh, a first tie. tie. Kylie stepped it up. That's awesome. I'm excited, Sarah. Yeah. I'm excited. So the referees are divided. So the now IPs it goes to the audience to, to decide who will win. I don't know. This is a tough Let's call. Let's see that on the replay. This can be slow-mo. They get to click oh, in to the place their votes of who they think should win. What a beautiful, beautiful half and half out by Danelle. Did you see how high that was? Yeah, in the replay, you can really see the detail. Let's see it from this angle. He, just from any angle you want to play it, he's got perfect form. The height is incredible. And he definitely makes it look so easy. It, it makes it look like that anybody can do this. And to have it look good in slow-mo where you can pick apart the details, that's very impressive. Yeah, I don't know. Kylie did, even though she wasn't as high as Danelle, the fact that she came in there and rocked it the way she did. And stuck the landing beautiful. She really held her own. I'll be curious who the audience picks. Looks like it goes they to go Team, to Team Fire. Fire! Team Fire wins it! Takes home that event, 10 to 6 over Team Ice. They've got great momentum going into the rest of the competition. They've got one event in the bag. That was an awesome first round. I mean, this is so exciting, Bill, because right off the bat, we had guys versus girls, we had a call out, we had wild cards, we had a forfeit, and we had a tie. It, it's awesome. It was, it's, that's what makes this competition so unique is that you do have guys versus the girls. In traditional gymnastics, you don't have that. I agree. And I, I just can't wait to see what the, the next events have for us. All right, let's move on to the rings and uneven bars. I'm excited.